This here is my ROG Ally. I applied to my Lenovo Legion Go and both of my Steam Decks this right here. This is called PTM7950. It's something between a thermal pad and a paste. What it basically is is it comes as a pad type material. You put it on your CPU, your APU, and it basically takes the place of thermal paste. Uh, once it actually sets and it hardens and it becomes matured, uh, it does outperform thermal paste in basically every test I've ever done. I found that on the Lenovo Legion Go adding a more premium PTM to it did decrease temperatures. On the Steam Deck OLED, it actually decreased temperatures and it had a dramatic effect on my Steam Deck IPS. So what I'm hoping here is that in this test here, I can bring down the static temperatures of this ROG Ally overall. So it's just, you know, the fans run a little bit quieter and the temperatures are lower. But because of the boost behavior of the ROG Ally, one thing that I think might happen, maybe, is if I can bring those temperatures down slightly, maybe five degrees, six degrees, it may actually be able to boost even more. And if it boosts more, then it's gonna have even better performance. Okay, here's a look inside the ROG Ally. Just basically took the screws out and opened it up. I've opened it up before because I've put in a new SSD, as you can see there. That's pretty much all I've ever done inside of an ROG Ally. So first things first, take out the battery, obviously. Do that first. Okay, I'll say just once again, you know, if you're doing this on a brand new unit especially, this may void your warranty. It all depends what country you're in. Some countries it may, some countries it may not. So don't do this unless you're very comfortable with it and potentially voiding your warranty. Um, you know, if you break something, that's gonna be an issue. Isopropyl alcohol there, a little isopropyl alcohol here. Do not use water. It's very difficult for me to get it on camera when I actually install it. It's not, it's a little difficult to install uh, just to take the plastic off, to be honest, but it's really hard to get on camera because I can never see what I'm doing. You can cut a little piece of paper or something, measure that, and then set it on here and kind of measure this out. But I always want to go slightly over. The reason is when you take this corner off and you try to get this plastic off the top and the bottom, I always end up like messing up the edge a little bit there. So I always overcut this slightly intentionally so that if I... Uh, when I mess up the corner a little bit, it's not going to be an issue. You can see here why I went over because I always tend to mess up that the part where you take it off. So now, you know, I'm not going to be way off the edge of the chip there. Okay, so I just cleaned it up a little bit there, trimmed it around just so it wasn't so messy. Um, and we will put the thermal solution back on and screw it down. When you first install PTM, you're actually probably gonna get worse benchmark results and worse game results. Um, so you'll put it in and then you'll be like, holy crap, this thing sucks and my, my results have gone down. That's normal. So what you need to do is what I call like a burn-in phase. So what that means is you basically heat it up, probably doing like a long benchmark like Cinebench or something like that, or Time Spot. You know, run that for like 30 minutes, then let it cool down, probably for like 10, 15, 20 minutes. Let it heat up again. Do that a few times, like probably three, four, five, six times or something like that. Do that cycling. And then what I do is I actually just use it. Like I just use it for a day or so. And then what happens is you'll find that, you know, once that... Uh, it essentially turns into almost like a solid type material and what happens then is you're going to get better results. Okay, let's have a look at some results here. So I did my testing in Baldur's Gate. I did two different scenes. One was indoors, one was outdoors. The indoor scene is a lot more static. Basically, I just leave it and nobody's moving through or nothing changes. So that gives us a very static measure. The outdoor scenes has a lot of NPCs moving in and out. So it's a little bit more randomized. Uh, but if you run it long enough, you do get a little bit of standardization. But the outdoor scene is also significantly more demanding as well. So we can see here that the original paste, the values over here, and then we have our uh, changes over here when we went to the PTM. So the first thing we can see here is the temperatures are actually pretty static between the two different tests. You can see there, you know, these changes over here, or you can look on the graph over here. I mean, we're increasing in some cases, we're decreasing in others, increasing, decreasing, but the change is not dramatic. We're looking at like a degree basically. So I would call it like basically almost margin of error up and down. Um, so the temperature change is basically margin of error overall, I'd say. But what we are seeing here is an increase in wattage. And specifically because I did this test over such a long period of time, 
um, it definitely is running at a higher wattage. So what's happening here is with the original thermal solution, you can see, you know, we're getting an average wattage of 38 or so. Um, and then we went up to about 42 or so on the other, once we changed the thermal solution. So what's happening there is the ROGLA actually has very aggressive boosting, unlike the Steam Deck or the Legion Go, at least the Legion Go in its state right now. So that aggressive boosting does result in fairly high, quite high temperatures, to be honest, on the ROG Ally, um, but it also gives really good results. The problem is that, you know, if it, it's going to boost up and then it's going to get hot and then it has to cool down, boost up, cool down. So what happens if you have, if you have better thermal solution overall, so this increase, so this PTM is actually most likely decreasing the actual temperature, but what that allows to happen is that the actual device is just boosting more. So rather than, you know, running cooler, it just boosts more overall. So it puts more wattage into the CPU, keeps the temperatures basically the same overall uh, across the board, but what you do see here is that you're getting more watts. And then you're gonna say, okay, so so what? We're getting the same temperatures, but we are getting more watts. What does that actually mean in the real world here? Well, it does actually translate to better results here. This is the indoor section here. We're seeing an average increase. We're seeing an average FPS increase of about two, so that's pretty good. You know, not massive, but it's decent. We're only coming from 34 up to 36 anyways. The 1% lows are actually coming a lot. So we're going up six. So we're going from 24 up to 30. That's a huge increase in the lows there. And that makes it a lot more playable when you're split between the average and the lows are 30. Instead of 24, uh, it's gonna actually make it much, much more playable. And even the 0.1% lows came up a little bit too. So we went up by two there. Outdoors, uh, we didn't see as dramatic of an increase, but it's also a significantly more demanding area overall. Uh, but we do see positive results overall. So, you know, one increase, one FPS increase on average, we see a want to increase to the lows and one to the 0% lows, 0.1% lows. So overall, we're seeing positive results. So, I mean, this one's pretty obvious. We're not really looking at margin of error here. We are actually looking at pretty respectable increase in performance here overall. What is my takeaway for the results of adding PTM7950 to the ROG Ally here? Well, they're definitely positive. And so what we're seeing here is that, you know, the temperatures aren't any lower. By adding PTM7950, it doesn't lower the temperatures. Absolutely, but what it does do is allow the cooling system to work more efficiently. So what you do actually get is better cooling of the chips, but because the ROG Ally will aggressively boost, unlike the Legion Go, you don't see a change in temperatures, but what you do see is higher wattages on the CPU, APU in this system here. So by having higher wattages on the APU here, you actually see better results, better performance, better FPS in games, especially in those lows. So if you use just turbo mode unlocked where it allows the system to boost as freely as it wants, you're not gonna see a huge decrease in temperatures or anything like that. But what you will see is you're gonna see better performance because it's gonna be able to boost those wattages up more often and you're gonna get more FPS. Definitely worth it. It's not gonna be absolutely game changing, uh, but it does allow the system to boost more and increase your performance.